السابقون الأولون من المهاجرين والأنصار والذين اتبعوهم بإحسان Sheikh Mufur Rahim Allah Ta'ala returned to Yemen and he said while he was on the plane I wish that I had remained I wish, I wish that I could remain in the clouds I wish that I could remain in the clouds when he was returning to Yemen on the plane some might say but, but he wanted to give da'wah you should understand Sheikh Mufur Rahim Allah Ta'ala is from an area of Shia he's from a society of Shia so it's not that he doesn't want to go home and give da'wah but he's thinking about how much problems, how many problems he's going to face once he returns. And that's the sunnah of Allah Azza wa that he is going to test those who call to his path. Yani, do you think that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would be tested in giving da'wah? And that Nuh Alayhi Salatu Wasallam would be tested in giving da'wah? And that Musa Alayhi Salatu Wasallam would be tested in giving da'wah? And that Isa Alayhi Salatu Wasallam would be tested in giving da'wah? And you, Ya Abdullah, you won't be tested? Yani none of us have reached the level of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in deen, in iman, in understanding Allah. And Allah tested him. And he's the most favorite or he's the most precious creation to Allah Azza wa Jal, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Anasiyu wadi Adam, wala fakhr." I am the most precious of the son of Adam, and I'm not being prideful. So if Allah tested the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, do you think that Allah will not test you? And that is the statement of Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab rahimahullah ta'ala was sabru ala al-adha'ifi was sabru ala al-adha'ifi All of us read Usul al-Thalatha Do we make tatbik? Do we make implementation of that which we read in Usul al-Thalatha? And the statement before the statement of Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab the statement of Luqman alayhi uh, rahimahullah ta'ala to his son Ya bunayya aqim al-salat wa'mur bil ma'roof wanha an al-munkar wasbir ala ma asabak inna dhalika min azm al-umur the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, when he informs us of the statement of Luqman to his son, establish the prayer, enjoin the good, forbid the evil, and be patient with that which comes to you because of it. And be patient with that which comes to you because of it. Because you're going to be, you're going to be fought. You're going to be ridiculed. You're going to be uh, 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 laughed at. You're going to be mocked. This is the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal with regards to those that call to the path of Allah. With regards to those that call to the path of Allah, but it's upon you to be patient. Because very Allah Ta'ala says, Wa inna al-akibat lil muttaqeen. The 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 final uh, affair is for those who have taqwa. 